Greetings and salutations, YouTubers. This is Christopher McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today, we're doing a rundown of 10, maybe the top 10 in our opinion, guitars that are great for beginners in the electric guitar category that are affordable. Um, so we're, we're capping this at about the $500 mark. And uh, as I've said in other videos like this, there are a lot of guitars in this price range. This is by uh, no means meant to be definitive. There are a lot of great brands out there, but we, we look through based upon uh, what's popular, what our body styles people want, uh, and what's a good value for your money with the features that you get, the build quality, the brand, and so forth. So we're gonna run down 10 guitars today that we think are the best value for you as a beginner guitar player 499 and below. Now the first guitar that I've got here in my hot little hands is a Squire Bullet Mustang. Now this goes for about 149.99. Now you also want to go online to alamomusic.com to check all of these prices because they are subject to change. But this is a new model and really something that's cool that hasn't been offered by Squire before, the Mustang. Mustang's been popular for a number of years, particularly with indie bands. And it's popular for a number of reasons. It's a smaller body, it's uh, pretty simply laid out, and it's a shorter scale. So if you're a beginner, um, that particularly appeals to you because it's going to be a little easier to play. When I say it's a shorter scale, I mean it from the nut here to the, uh, the bridge down here, these saddles, the measurement on this is a little bit shorter. What that means is that the frets are gonna be a little bit closer together and the strings are gonna be a bit easier to bend. So it really appeals to the hand feel as well as the sound that you're gonna get from the pickups. Now, Squire has basically made this to be a rocker. They've equipped it with two humbucking pickups, three-way toggle, volume, and tone. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Comes in a number of really cool colors, particularly it's very sparkly blue. Um, and you know, for 150 bucks, it's a great value. Now, as we go through all of these, starting right here at the beginning, I should say this. Do you get more for your money with electric guitars? Yes. Is there a point of diminishing returns? Yes. When you start getting up to say $5,000, $6,000, $7,000 custom guitars, um, you have to realize that there is a diminishing return on the investment. It's not necessarily $3,000 better than a $3,000 guitar. Um, but at that point, it's about customization and the beauty of the wood and the rarity of it and, and you know, playability and things like that as well. As we move up in this lineup, you're going to see dramatic improvements though, from $150 to $499. There's going to be improvements when it comes to intonation, playability, features, finish, things like that. As an example, one of the ways that Squire keeps the price of this affordable is that the headstock and the back of the neck are finished pretty much satin. There's no gloss going on with it, and so they're able to keep the cost down. Uh, you'll notice this little blue thing sticking on the headstock here. That's not a feature of the guitar. I've got a trusty little snark uh, tuner. These are fantastic tuners, by the way. If you're looking for a tuner that won't break the bank, that's affordable, these little contact tuners are fantastic. I'd recommend them to anybody who's starting out or who's been playing guitar for a while. You clip it on the headstock, you play a note, and even without an audible sound, it pick up, picks up the vibrations going through the neck. Now, the reason I have this on the guitar right now is because I'm going to check the guitar as I'm playing it. At $150, what do we expect out of a guitar? Well, I expect it to have pretty good playability since it's a known brand. I expect it to have a pretty decent sound, to have some variance in the tones that I'm able to get out of it, and to accommodate my playing so that if I'm a beginner, I can learn and progress using this guitar. It's going to be a help and not a hindrance. Some things I also expect from experience is that this guitar is probably going to benefit from a setup. And so right now, straight out of the factory, the intonation is probably not going to be spot on. And that's something that you should know when you're looking at these price guitars or this price range, really any price range of guitars. You might find a $3,000 guitar that needs a setup and hasn't been intonated properly out of the factory as well. So this is an honest review, warts and all, of these great guitars. And they are great guitars even if they're having to cut corners or um, maybe compromise in certain areas in order to get to the price point so that you as a beginner can have a great instrument. We are going to be playing out of one of Fender's brand new Mustang 
GT100 amps. I'm using uh, preset number three, which is a basic 65 deluxe. I've modified that preset just a little bit. I haven't added any additional effects. What I have done is change the EQ a bit and I've added some gain. What we're going to do in the review is rather than switch between say a clean and a dirty or overdriven amp, we are simply going to turn the volume up and down on the guitar. And that's a little trick that a lot of people don't really, uh, th that sometimes take for granted or don't realize is simply by turning down the guitar, you lower the input gain on the amp and you clean it up. And so you can, in this essence, basically have a single channel amp that can be overdriven or clean based upon the guitar level. So let's listen to it first clean and then overdriven. <laughs> Now I mentioned tuning earlier. So we tuned this guitar before we started. It's a little out of tune from some bending on it. So I'm gonna tune it real quick and through the magic of editing, we're gonna speed this up. All right, now let's listen to the guitar overdriven. Honest review, let's check the intonation on it. I can tell you right now it's off a little bit. At the B, that's in tune, and that's sharp. So when you're looking at a guitar in this price range, add into it the cost of a good setup. It might run about 30 to $40 in your local shop. If you buy from Alamo Music, we can get it set up for you. All you gotta do is ask. We're gonna inspect every one of these before we ship it out. So something to keep in mind, in this price point. Let's check out the next guitar, also from Fender Squire. It's the Affinity Series Jazzmaster. Okay, the next one on our list is, again, from Squire. Now, Squire is a, uh, basically an economical brand from Fender, if you're not familiar with them. They are imported from overseas, from Indonesia and from China, and they're great, fantastic guitars, particularly for the beginner in mind. This is also a new model in their lineup. It is the new Jazzmaster Affinity Series from Squire, or part of the Affinity Series. In the Affinity Series, they've made Strats and Tellys for a number of years. Having the Jazzmaster body and options is a great addition. Now, this is not true to, like, say, a 60s. Again, this has been modified with humbucking pickups, like the Mustang that we just looked at. And so it's really more of kind of a rocking guitar. As before, we've got a tuner on it. It's perfectly in tune right now as far as the open strings. We're going to play it first, clean, and then overdriven through the amp so you can get an idea of what it sounds like and we could check the intonation and setup straight out of the factory on it. Let's check the intonation on it. So 
pretty good actually. It's perfectly intonated. This isn't using a strobe tuner by any chance, uh, by any means, so it's not super super accurate. But this is well set up. Now it's. $50 more than the Mustang that we just looked at. So for a current price of $199.99, you get a great Affinity Series uh, Jazzmaster from Squire. So we're moving up in series, we're moving up in guitar and price point, and we're seeing some new features, new body styles, new colors, and maybe a bit better setup out of the factory. So something to keep in mind. Now this has been an awesome guitar. This body's really popular, particularly in um, indie groups and whatnot, and this setup on this with the humbuckers and the hardtail bridge makes it really kind of rock solid and ready to rock on. So this would be a great guitar if you are into uh, any kind of indie rock, punk, um, you know, you could really use it for a number of things, but those humbuckers are going to be fantastic for a really thick overdriven sound like you just heard. Let's check out the next one. All right, next we have another Squire Affinity Series guitar. This is the Tried and True Stratocaster. Near and dear to my heart and something where I feel really comfortable on is a Strat. I own a few. I love Strats. I don't know why I keep looking at Strats. But this is a particularly cool one with this nice surf green color that's available. Um, what do you get? You get the classic Stratocaster. You know, it's, it's what Fender has made famous. It's probably one of the most iconic famous electric guitars in the world. And at the same price point as the Jazzmaster, $199.99, you get a, sing a three single coil equipped guitar with a five way selector switch, uh, volume and two tones. So immediately out of the gate, we have more tonal options available here. Now it also comes equipped with a tremolo on this. We are looking at a $200 guitar. So here's what I will say about the tremolo. It comes set up with the tremolo against the body. I would recommend leaving it there. And if you want to use it, use it lightly. If you try to dive bomb with this guitar, it's not going to return to pitch very well. It's a $200 guitar. It's geared not for the professional, but for you who's learning. And so keep that in mind, but it feels great. The setup on it's fantastic. The neck feels good. The um, the side of the fretboard, there's no sharp tangs on the frets, anything like that. And the tuners tune pretty uh, accurately and easily. So. Um, what are the noticeable signs that if I was blindfolded and had this in my hand, I could probably tell it was not a Fender Stratocaster? Well, the switch is kind of stiff. The knobs um, are not, don't feel all the same. Um, and there's just some, some differences in feel. So, But really, kind of a cool looking guitar. And for the money, it's hard to beat. Let's check out what it sounds like though. different sounds available in this guitar. Five-way switching, you can even mess with the tones really. Um, it just sounds fantastic. Now, we are going to check the intonation on it, so let's check it out. Oh, by the way, you hear that? L little, little lesson here. That's called 60 cycle hum. That's normal when you're dealing with single coil equipped guitars. The reason it stops when I do this is because that middle single coil is reverse wound. And so it basically works like a humbucker does, it bucks the hum. So when you're in those in-between positions, it's going to take two pickups, one's reverse wound, it cancels that out. So the more you know, right? All right, let's check out this, this tuning on this. Pretty good. 
a few of the notes are tiny, tiny, tiny bit sharp, but man, the setup on this, as far as the neck's concerned, feels fantastic straight out of the box. So really a great guitar. If you're wanting to get into blues, rock, or you want a guitar that's extremely versatile for around the $200 price point, this is really, really hard to beat. You know, there are packs available with the Bullet series of this guitar, but for a little bit more money, you can pick the guitar and the amp and the accessories that you want with it. If you want any help with that, give us a call and I'll gladly put a pack together for you that'll rock your socks. All right, so now we're moving to a new manufacturer who produces guitars in a large price range, everywhere from about $150, $200 on up to several thousand dollars in their prestige line from Japan. <clears throat> and I'm speaking of no other than Ibanez guitars. Now Ibanez has been around since the 70s. Uh, some of you may call it Ibanez, that's cool. I call it Ibanez, so, you know, potato, potato. But um, they've manufactured guitars for a number of years, starting out with uh, really great copies of Les Paul, so great that they got sued. Uh, but where they've really come into their own is by manufacturing guitars that follow kind of their own aesthetic and their own ideals. And particularly within uh, certain genres, heavy metal, prog metal, um, you know, shredding and, and whatnot, you know, they're, they're kind of one of the biggest names in the game. They make a fantastic guitar, and at this price point, this is the 199.99 Geo Series GART60. This is a really cool guitar. So what you get is you get a short scale, single cutaway body, a la Les Paul. You know, it's kind of similar with that silhouette. It's a bolt-on maple neck. It's a nice modern kind of C profile, maybe a little bit thinner than a typical C. Um, it's got a little bit of a wider nut than you would typically find, a flatter radius, which means the curvature of the fretboard's a bit flatter. So if you're wanting to play really fast lead lines, it's well suited for that, more so than maybe a Stratocaster would be. Um, You've got a three-way toggle, two volumes, and a single master tone that controls these two humbucking pickups. You've got a uh, two pneumatic style bridge and a tailpiece. So there's no tremolo here, it's rock solid. Like I said, it's very similar to kind of a Gibson setup, but with some modern takes on it that really make it uh, player friendly and, uh, you know, uh, kind of Ibanez specific, it's unique to them. Cool headstock shape here with three on a side tuners. And the way that they've done this is, this is, again, if you're starting to learn guitar, this is a little thing to pay attention to. Headstock design is going to have an impact not just on aesthetics, but also on intonation. So what they've done is the headstock kind of gets narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. That brings each of these tuning posts closer in the middle and helps align it a little bit better with where it is crossing over the nut. A very similar thing happens with these six on one side headstocks from say like Fender. What that ensures is that as you bend a string, there's less likelihood for it to get impinged or bind up here in the nut. So just a little bit of trivia or advice for you. We've got our tuner on here right now. It's in tune open. So we're going to again, listen to it clean and then overdriven through the amp using both the neck uh, and the bridge pickups and both at the same time. put them up all the way and these are pretty hot pickups so you can do what it's designed to do. Guitar, great tone, really pushes the amp when you turn it up. Let's check out how it's set up. <laughs> I bent it out of tune a bit.
kind of roundabout. It's pretty close, but it can definitely need some intonation adjustments in order to be spot on so that every note all the way up the neck is in tune. Um, but the feel of the neck's pretty good. You can bring down the action a bit. Again, if you buy this from us, we'll get a setup for you. Um, but straight out of the box, Ibanez has made a great guitar, good quality. Some great finishes available in this too. So if you're wanting to have a guitar that has a really thick sound to it, um, but has a fast playability and that you can wail on, definitely take a look at this. Okay, next we have another Ibanez. Again, part of their Geo series. This is the GRX70 QA. I know their names just roll off the tip of their tongue. Despite that, they're fantastic guitars. And this is moving a little bit more so into that uh, heavy metal, prog metal, shredding category that we were talking about with the previous model. Uh, this is a super strat body shape. I say that because it's a double cutaway that's similar in style to Stratocaster, but a little bit leaner, a little bit meaner. Uh, very, made popular back in the 80s, these are fantastic guitars that play very, very quickly. Now, at a price of about $199.99, so about $200 for this guitar, you get a lot for your money. Some unique aspects to this guitar compared to the previous Ibanez, really compared to any of the guitars we've looked at so far, is the thinness of the neck. This is a wide, thin neck, okay? It's not a modern C by any stretch of the imagination. It has a lot of wood moved off the back of it, and the fretboard is very flat. So all of that is designed to make it faster to play. And unfortunately for you guys, it's lost a little bit on me uh, because if you wanna see me shred, we need to get a machine in here or some cheese or something and we can shred that way, but I'll do my best for you. Now, the other cool thing about this guitar is, again, it's very versatile like the Stratocaster is in that it's got a five-way toggle switch, but this is equipped with two humbucking pickups and a single coil in the middle. Now, if you're new to guitar playing, and, and I would imagine that that's probably why you're watching this video, let me explain the difference between these pickups because you've seen variations on some of the guitars we've looked at so far. A humbucking pickup was designed to get rid of that 60 cycle hum that we heard earlier. By adding another coil reverse wound in the other direction, it cancels out the hum that would naturally occur due to what's called 60 cycle hum. Now, it also has the consequence of basically since you're adding a coil and you're doubling up on the magnets, it has more gain. It has more oomph, if you will. And it tends to have a darker tone than a single coil will. So it's a hotter pickup just by design. What Ibanez has done is mix this with two humbucking pickups with a single coil pickup. And with this five way, you kind of get a mix of both. So in either the first position, which would be bridge here, or fifth position is neck, you get full on humbucker in either position. In between, you get the uh, outside coil and inner coil, or the single coil here, the single coil by itself, or outside coil of the neck and single coil, and then the neck humbucker by itself. Very easy controls. You have a single volume and a single tone. It's got a beautiful quilted maple top on here in like this ruby faded burst. It's just a great looking guitar for the money. I mean, it's really pretty. Um, the intonation on this is pretty, pretty solid. Uh, we'll check it here at the end, but I've already looked at it. This has Ibanez's, um, I believe they call this the blade tremolo. It's very easy to adjust and set up. Um, and you have the ability to set it up you know, with a bar in order to add some vibrato. Um, it's set up against the body, and again, at this price point, I would recommend not floating it and leaving it there, but you have some forward action pitch if you do want to add some vibrato to your lines. So, without any further ado, we're going to listen to it. Now, I, I'm going to say right up front, these are hot pickups, again, they're designed for a particular style of music, right? Where you're generally going to be distorted or overdriven. And so it's really hard to get a clean sound on this app at all, but we're gonna get kind of a less overdriven and a more overdriven sound with this guitar. So let's check it out.
more overdriven. <laughs> pick up something there at the end basically um, the even at full volume the neck pickup has a little bit less gain than the bridge pickup so think of the neck pickup as um, kind of suave and debonair and very smooth and the bridge pickup as the snarling dog or crazy uncle that everyone has in their family um, really very appropriate depending upon the party they're at so <laughs> great guitar let's check out the intonation on it um, make sure I didn't bend it out of pitch yeah it looks like we're okay Yeah, it's pretty much in tune uh, and intonated up the neck to the 12th fret uh, with a strobe tuner and whatnot. It can be checked at various places and all over the place, but fantastic value, great looking guitar. There's a number of finishes available in this model. So go online to alamomusic.com and check out the latest pricing, colors that are available in this guitar as well. Uh, we'd love to get this set up for you with a, the appropriate tuner and bag and amp and cable get shipped on its way, perfectly set up and ready to go. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now we're moving on to another brand that represents really fantastic guitars at affordable prices, and that is, of course, Epiphone. Now, if you're not familiar with Epiphone, Epiphone started out as an American guitar company building guitars in New York City, and they were purchased by their main competitor, Gibson, and then utilized later on as the affordable line within Gibson's lineup for acoustic and electric guitars. And what they basically do is they utilize a lot of Gibson's designs, like the SG and the Les Paul, um, you know, jumbo series on acoustic guitars, J45s, things like that, but build them overseas and at a more affordable price by doing so, so that you can attain your very own Les Paul. It doesn't say Gibson on the headstock, but it is a Les Paul nonetheless. And this is the lowest priced one in that category. This is the Les Paul 100 series. Now, obviously it's not going to be the same as the Gibson Les Paul, right? What we're talking about at this point, price point is $279. Again, check online to see if that's changed at all, but at the, at the time we were making this video is $279. And for that, what you get is you get a, a, basically an Epiphone Les Paul with that classic heritage burst finish, two humbucking pickups, three-way toggle, rhythm and treble uh, listed there for you. I once saw a really cool one of these that said Ginger and Marianne, so you could always customize it should you choose. Uh, we've got Four knobs down here, um, and that's the most we've seen so far. So let me explain how the control layout works for this. Each pickup has its own volume. Each pickup has its own tone. So this is your volume for the neck pickup and tone for the neck bridge volume bridge tone. The great thing about this setup is that you can kind of, uh, in the middle position, you can determine how much volume, how much mix of each pickup you want in there. And you can also set it up for rhythm and lead settings. So you could have, um, say the rhythm set at a lower volume and the bridge set to a higher volume. And then when it's time for solo, just click the three way and you're there. Um, you know, and then when it's time for you to be done and everyone needs you to back off in the mix, you go back to the rhythm setting and there you go. One of the nice things about Les Pauls um, is the scale on them. We talked about that with the Mustang. Um, this is a 24 and three quarters inch scale, basically, uh, with a 12 inch radius. The neck is not too thick, not too thin, so um, really kind of a modern low oval profile, or some people would say it's modern C. It's not quite, but kind of. Um, the feel along the neck is really nice. This is an unbound neck. Um, but they finished the sides of it 
and it feels really fantastic. There's no sharp fret tangs uh, coming off of it. That's something to look at when you're uh, checking out a guitar. Um, the knobs feel really nice and smooth. They're a little stiff, but not overly so. Uh, and the guitar just looks fantastic. The quality um, is, is really up there, particularly at this price point, under $300. So it's a good looking guitar. A unique thing about the guitar, this Les Paul 100 series, is that it's got a bolt-on neck, and that is atypical of Les Pauls. Usually it's a set neck, but in order to get it into this price point, it has to be streamlined a bit, and this is an, uh, a inex less expensive manufacturing technique in order to build the guitar. So, uh, three on a side tuners like we saw on the Ibanez we looked at earlier, and that classic Les Paul script up there. Um, the tuners on this are nondescript, probably Ping branded tuners, but they feel pretty smooth, not, not very much slop in them or anything like that. So let's check it out and see what it sounds like. We're going to start, as we have been, with a clean tone starting with our neck pickup. It right now but I'll I'll basically spoil it for you I checked it earlier it's spot on as far as a non strobe snark tuner is concerned the intonations perfect setups good feels good plays well 279 bucks y'all if you want a Les Paul and you don't have a whole lot to spend this gets you into the game really inexpensively kind of impressed for 279 bucks to be honest with you I don't need a new electric guitar right now but Following up our love fest with Epiphone is another very affordable, um, iconic guitar that Gibson is offering through their Epiphone line, and that is the Epiphone G400 Pro SG model. It's an SG, y'all. It's an SG for $359, y'all. It's available in a number of finishes. Uh, the most iconic are gonna be Heritage Cherry and Ebony. If you're not familiar, SG is an iconic guitar. It's been played by so many different people. And it's it's a guitar that is kind of uniquely suited for having dual personalities. It's kind of schizophrenic. Everything from Angus Young searing ACD rock to early Carlos Santana. Can you believe that both of those ton tones come out of the same guitar? They do. Um, and so they're very cool guitars. They have a particular smoothness when you want and a bite when you want. These Epiphones are equipped with a nice little detail that we're going to demonstrate for you. So it's set up kind of like a Les Paul where you've got a three-way toggle, two tones, and two volumes. Um, I like these top hat knobs that they've got here. Um, the knobs, the, the pots are real kind of smooth on these. Um, it, let me, a few things, okay? When you're playing a guitar and you're kind of going through and you're tuning up, things to notice. There's no sharp tangs. The action's pretty good. The tuners are a little stiff. That's a good thing. It's kind of reassuring when you're tuning it that there's not any slop there. They're precise 
and there's some resistance, which you want. Um, and then the knobs smooth, uh, turn freely. They're nice and smooth. They don't feel scratchy or anything like that. They're not wobbly. Um, and the, the three-way feels very reassuring. So the whole guitar feels solidly and well-built. The neck on this is a little thicker. Um, so it's thicker than, the, actually it's thicker than any of the guitars we've looked at so far. And not in an uncomfortable way, it, feel, it fills the hand very well. Um, so it doesn't fill, uh, fill? It fills the hand and it feels fine. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it feels great. So it's reassuring, 12 inch radius on this like the Les Paul. Beautiful inlays. Uh, this is really an upscale looking guitar and it looks sinister at the same time. It's thinner than a Les Paul is going to be, and it's lighter, and this does have a set neck on it. So, $359, eat your heart out. All right, we're going to go through, two of the features that I mentioned here are right here in the volume pots. You see these little stickers around here, these, these things to alert you that, hey, something's going on here. They're push-pull pots. That means you can push, pull it up, you can push it down. Anyway, what it does, other than annoy your bass player, is it splits the coil in the humbucker. So we've talked about single coils, we've talked about humbuckers. If you pull this pot, this humbucker now becomes a single coil. Same thing with the bridge. So what that's going to do is it's going to change the output. It's going to be, uh, it's going to have less output and it's going to change the tone. It's going to be uh, a little brighter, a little glassier, uh, more top end, less darkness, you know, because that's the difference between a single coil and a humbucker. So, very versatile guitar. What you basically get is six different sounds with this thing, despite the fact that it only has a three-way toggle. So let's listen to it. I mentioned it's got two personalities, right? You get the idea. An extremely versatile guitar. Um, I want to show you real quick. We're just going to have some s just sustaining chords here so you can hear overdriven the difference that you get between the single coil sounds because this is a great way to set up uh, a change between lead and rhythm sounds as well. So. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Epiphone's SG400 Pro. So, really killer guitar for the money. Let's check the intonation on it. Spoiler, I kind of checked it earlier. Most of them are on, few are a little sharp. Overall, 
set up pretty well. All right, we have another Epiphone, and this time we're back to the iconic Les Paul. Now, Les Paul is probably the most famous and successful signature models of all time. He was at one point one of the most famous guitar players in the world. Incredibly talented and, uh, and in a way instrumental really in the uh, early stages of the electric guitar. So lots of history there. Epiphone's Les Paul carries on this tradition, in this case in a beautiful Pelham blue uh, metallic color. Very, very cool. This is the standard model. There are a bunch of variations within the lineup. There's Pro Plus Tops, if you want a flame top or quilted top, uh, Prophecy models, all sorts of different things, signature models that they've done. Uh, but this is the standard. This is the flagship, the standard bearer for, by which all others are judged. And you get some fantastic quality here. The price point on this is $419. So we've crossed the $400 price point right here. Um, you've got Grover tuners on the back of it, really good quality tuners. Um, beautiful inlay, humbucking pickups, gold top, uh, top hat style knobs, and again, Ginger Marianne available at the flick of a switch. There's no push-pull pots on this one like we saw on the SG. There are some Les Pauls in the lineup that do have those, a little bit more expensive than this model, um, but this is meant to be very true to what the original Les Pauls were. So three-way toggle, volume and tone times two. Two humbucking pickups, short scale, there you go. It's got a thicker body and more weight than any of the guitars we've played so far. It's a mahogany body with a maple cap under this paint. And what you get out of that is a thick sound. It plays fantastic. I can already tell you the setup on this is really, really good. And I can't see a single thing wrong so really overall, great quality on the build of this guitar. Fit and finish is fantastic. Let's check out what it sounds like. great sounds great we checked the intonation earlier but basically it's set up well it's intonated well good job epiphone 419 dollars this is a great 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 guitar really at a lot of price points this is a great guitar there's a lot of different colors on this if you're curious about the finish options or the availability of these guitars give us a call or go on our website and contact us today and we'll put one of these in your hands Let's check out the next one. Right, next up, we actually have one of my favorite models in Fender's catalog of guitars, and that is Fender's Modern Player Tele Plus. Um, I've owned one of these. I also uh, owned their Thinline P90 model that's part of the Modern Player series. Let me break down for you what it is. The Modern Player series is a series of Fender guitars that are built overseas. Uh, this one is manufactured in China, um, and it really gives you a lot of kind of new takes on some of their classic models of guitars. This is probably the best and most popular example of it. So what we have here is we have a typical Telecaster body, but it's been loaded with two single coils and a humbucker. So typically on a Telecaster, you'd have this Telecaster neck pickup, and then you'd have a Telecaster bridge pickup that's very, very hot single coil. You usually don't have this middle pickup, so this has been added to give you some additional versatility, kind of like you'd see on a Stratocaster. In the bridge pickup, instead of the hot single coil, we have a very hot bridge uh, or humbucking pickup in the bridge with a toggle switch to give us single coil sounds as well. Some other changes, um, it's a beautiful pine body 
gives it a bit of weight to it. That's what the early Esquires and Telecasters were made out of, by the way. And it's got a wonderful resonance to this style of wood or this tone wood used. Uh, it has a belly carve, which is really comfortable here in the rib cage. And of course, it's string through like most Telecasters. Has, uh, this features a maple neck. It's fully glossed on the fretboard as well as the back. Um, so it's really nice and smooth to bend on. Not too sticky on the back. Some, some people prefer a satin finish neck. Um, honestly, when I'm playing most of the time, I can't tell the difference anyway. Uh, overall, this feels really nice. It's a modern C profile. And then we've got vintage style uh, F style tuners up here from Fender. And these are really nice. Basically, they, uh, they allow you to kind of cut the string, uh, stick the string down into a, uh, a volute in the barrel there, and then bend it and turn it and tune it up. So it keeps them really kind of locked in place and stable. Overall, this is uh, quite a good looker of a guitar. I forget what, th it's, it's some kind of faded cherry burst. Um, don't quote me on that. Go to online to alamomusic.com. We'll have the finish options there as well. I believe it also comes in kind of a dark, smoky, transparent black finish. Uh, but you've got your st typical fin uh, telly thing. So you've got a 25 and a half inch longer radius on here and really a bright characteristic to this guitar with the added versatility of the middle pickup and the bridge pickup. All of this for a price point of $499.99, so basically 500 bucks, you get a Fender with a lot of versatility. Um, and if you're a Tele fan like I am, this is a great option. So let's check it out as we go through the different sounds that this guitar has. Now, at the very end there, we're on the bridge humbucking pickup, and that change in characteristic was me flipping that switch in order to turn it into a single coil. So let's listen to that starting off when we turn this up in order to get to overdrive the amp. Doesn't disappoint. So really a very versatile machine and it's built with fantastic Fender quality. $500 gives you a very versatile uh, Telecaster and really this is the least expensive Telecaster in the entire Fender lineup. There are less expensive Squire Telecasters, but if you want something that says Fender on the headstock, has some unique appointments and costs $500, this is the name in town and it plays fantastically. We've got one more on our list to show you. It also comes from Fender, so let's take a look at it. So last on our list is a new model from Fender. We've done a full review on these, and so if you wanna check that out because there's a number of options available, uh, search on our YouTube channel for the new uh, Mustangs and Duosonics from Fender. Introduced at Winter Nam, a number of colors are available on these models. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Basically, it's a Mustang, short scale, simplified, two single coil pickups, volume, tone, and a three-way toggle. It's got a maple neck, and uh, it's gloss on the fretboard, but satin on the back, so it plays really fast, it bends really smoothly. Uh, the setup on it's fantastic. There's no sharp frets. Uh, the 
It feels really nice. I can't really see anything that I would have a problem with. The fit and finish is fantastic, it's perfect. So a unique thing about this guitar, this is built in Mexico in Fender's factory. This is on our list, the only North American built guitar um, that we have. It's available for $499.99. So again, $500 price point gets you into this guitar. Everything moving above this in the Mexican, uh, the Mexico, made in Mexico lineup from Fender is uh, going to be a little bit more expensive. So this is kind of the entry into those fantastically built guitars. Um, they take a lot of pride and workmanship in that factory, and it shows in this guitar. The tuners, the fretwork, um, the setup, everything is really spot on. And this, this is really a high quality guitar for the money. It's also got a fantastic look. Now this particular color is one of my favorites. Uh, this is Torino Red, um, and it looks killer, doesn't it? With kind of that off-white minty green pick guard and the white pickups, it's it's got a classic look to it. And with the shorter scale, like we saw in the first Mustang we looked at, it plays really divinely. Um, it's a it's a really nice feel. So. <laughs> If you like Fender uh, and you want something with a shorter scale and single coil pickups, take a look, a hard look at one of these Duosonics because it's really, that, that wheelhouse is where this guitar plays. And it, again, it's great for indie rock, it's great for grunge, it's, it, it's a great worship guitar. Um, so whatever style you're playing or what you're getting into, you know, and this isn't just simply a beginner guitar. At this point, we're crossing over, and this would serve anyone really, really well. This could be added to your arsenal. Uh, even if you're a professional uh, and gigging regularly, it's, it's that good of a quality. So definitely check these out. And like I said, go check out the full review that we did a few months back. bright characteristic to it. Where this guitar would really excel is if you have a lot of pedals, uh, it's actually gonna pair really, really well with those. With the bright characteristic, the pickups it's got, kind of where it sits from a gain standpoint. This is a cool guitar. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So, as far as intonation's concerned, uh, looked at it kind of slightly earlier, yeah. Again, a very important aspect of the guitar. This is set up well, intonated right out of the box. So a good quality Fender. So that's our review. These are top 10 guitars for beginners, the price range $500 and under. Again, not a definitive list. Some guitars we think are definitely worth your time examining your research and cover a range of musical styles and, uh, and budget needs. So if you have any questions on any of these guitars, we want you to go online to alamomusic.com so you can see all of the specs, the reviews we've done on them, um, and contact us if you have any questions, either through our website, via email, uh, come into the store, or give us a call. We wanna help you find the right guitar. We're all about helping people discover music. So if you came to this video because you are at the beginning of your journey to learning to play guitar, it doesn't matter if you're 12 or if you're 72, we want to make sure that you start that journey off with the right instrument that's going to help foster that music ability in your life and bring joy to you and others for many, many years to come. So give us a call, contact us, come in, go online because we're here for you. If you have any questions, or you have any comments, please comment below. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you're alerted whenever we do a new review. Thanks.